Hi, and welcome to the Secret Hit Songwriting Formula. If you're new to the channel on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe, or if you're watching on Facebook, please like this page. We do weekly videos here showing you how to recognize the patterns found in hit songs, because there is a Secret Hit Songwriting Formula. All hit songs on the radio, past and present day, have followed certain patterns embedded within the compositions in order for them to become commercially successful. And we show you those patterns here so you could use them in your songs. So today we're gonna to be looking at a classic, Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. Oh, more cowbell, man. How could you uh, think of this song without thinking of that classic uh, Will Ferrell, more cowbell sketch? So this song follows the formula of fives. And that is to say that each section of the song must be self-similar in the fact that they must all have a five-note rhythmic hook. The verse must have a five-note rhythmic hook, the chorus. Any significant song section has to have that five-note obvious rhythmic hook to achieve that self-similarity. So let's see how this plays out in Don't Fear the Reaper, more cowbell. All our times have come. Pretty easy to count the one, two, three, four, five. There, right? Here, but now they're gone. Okay, so the verse written in blue there, pretty short verse written in blue, but it's already clearly established itself as a five, okay, based on two clear and obvious five note motifs, okay? Now, the pre chorus written in green is an interesting study in this song, okay? Because in the first pre-chorus, you'll notice seasons don't fear the reaper, nor do the wind or the sun and the rain. We can be like they are. That section, you may notice, well, where's the five? Okay, well, for the first pre-chorus here, we talk about in the book, The Secret Hit Songwriting Formula, that if a section is four measures of music or less, then it's not a real song section and it doesn't have to follow the formula. So. A measure of music, of course, being four beats in the song. Seasons don't fear the reaper, nor do the wind, the sun, or the rain. We can be like... So there's the four measures. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And by the time we get to they are, it's the end of the four measures and we're in the chorus, okay? So for the first pre-chorus, it's all insignificant because it's less or because it's four measures long. So we'll, we'll write four measures long for the pre-chorus, so it's insignificant. This part doesn't have to follow the formula. Then we get into the chorus. Come on, baby, don't fear the reaper. Baby, take my hand, don't fear the reaper. We'll be able to fly, don't fear the reaper, baby, I'm your man. Okay, so, because our verse followed a five-note rhythmic hook, okay, that's setting up our subconscious mind to also expect to hear a five-note rhythmic hook in the chorus. And when it does, our ears are extremely satisfied as if we've known the song all along. So as you can see here, the Don't Fear the Reaper is a clear and obvious five note motif that shows up as the backing vocal phrase every time in the chorus. And that's, so that's our main five note hook of the chorus. That would be enough if that was all that was appearing. But he goes even further and has every other line of the lead vocal in the chorus also come out to a perfect five, even though this phrase is insignificant and this phrase is insignificant because it has that extra sixth syllable. So. Okay, but the chorus is still a clear and obvious five, and just in case there was any doubt about this being a fives formula, we had a five in the verse, we had a five in the chorus, and then what I call the post-chorus here, written in new color again, blue. La, 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 la. Another five-note motif that repeats itself right away. La, 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 la. Okay pretty much a reprise of that verse melody, but there it is as a post-chorus part, okay? So that follows a five as well. Okay, so if our verse has followed a five, and our chorus has followed a five, and our post-chorus has followed a five, what about these pesky pre-choruses? We already talked about this pre-chorus being four measures long, so it doesn't have to follow a formula, but you may say, what about the fact that the other subsequent pre-choruses are more than four measures long? Well, that's a valid point. 
The second pre-chorus is more than four measures long, so it has to follow a Fias formula. Yes, it does. Okay, so let's see how it does that. When it gets to the 40,000 men and women every day, 40,000 men and women every day, another 40,000 coming every day. What's happening here is we talk about in the book, The Secret Hits Songwriting Formula, that if a five note motif or a certain length motif is appearing in the same place in the measure every time, then that's one way of distinguishing itself and establishing itself. So what happens here is 40,000 men and women every day. Each of these phrases is ending with a five note hook, but it's not that it's just ending with five notes because it would be easy to count backwards from the last syllable until you get to one, five, four, three, two, one, right? That wouldn't be enough. But they're also rhythmically congruent. 40,000 men and women every day. This women every day occurs in the same place in the measure as this women every day, right? Another 40,000 coming every day. Again, this coming every day is the same congruent rhythm that's appearing in the same place in the measure each time it appears. So there you go. Even though the second pre-chorus is more than four measures long, it's following the formula of fives, okay? How about the third pre-chorus? Same thing. The door was open and the wind appeared. The curtains blew and then disappeared. The curtains flew and then he appeared. Again, these five note motifs are all appearing in the same place in the measure. That's why that even this third chorus follows the formula of fives because a five note hook is establishing itself in the same place in the measure every time, ending the phrase every time. All right, so there we have it. Don't Fear the Reaper follows the formula of fives. That is to say each significant song section follows a five note rhythmic hook and that is the secret of self-similarity that makes this song stand the test of time and makes it so catchy to sing among other factors like a great chord progression and great riff and other things we talk about in the book but we're just talking about the the fives part of the formula here all right if you need more help with this please visit www.secrethitsongwritingformula.com we have the only ebook in the world there that gives away the various secret patterns that you can use in songs that you must use in songs if you want your songs to be able to catch on with mass appeal thanks for watching we'll see you next time